Alright, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this cool gradient script by just using a Gaussian blur and layer masking. I got this technique from Ian Bernard. He's a great illustrator. He's a great calligrapher. I've been watching his videos for a long time and I thought it'd be great to share what I've learned from him to you all. So with that being said, let's begin. All right, first, of course, you got to get set your artboard up. Um, you can use any size for this, but I usually use the screen size preset in Procreate just to fill the screen completely. So once we do that, we're just going to have our new layer. And we're just going to pick four colors. Um, these colors don't necessarily have to be random. They can, but you also want to remember when you're creating gradients, you don't want to have too much of the wrong tones and stuff going on so it gets really muddy and your gradient doesn't come out good so you want to find colors that are harmonious and smooth that work good together in the same family um, and try that and see what you get so um, I'm gonna start with the yellow take any brush um, if you want to use the model line brushes in the calligraphy settings all right so you want to take your brush pull all the way down and it'll snap, Procreate will make that a straight line and then you'll just take this yellow dropper and drop it in there. All right, cool. So next, let's try to stay within the warm tones. We're gonna move to orange, right? Then we're gonna draw another line, pull it straight down, fill that with orange. And then we're gonna go look for red. Right down, take that and fill. Last color, let's do like this little hot pink maroon color. I'm just gonna take and fill. So now you have four colors. The colors will, of course, look darker on my screen compared to the film. So, um, I'll put the color codes up there if you want to use the same exact colors so you get the same results. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take our layer here, then we're going to go to our adjustment layer, or adjustments um, panel. I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur, take your pen or pencil and slide it all the way across. So you can go all the way to 100 if you want, or you want to stay in the same ballpark and do like a like 85. It's really up to you. All right, cool. Now we have our our Gaussian blurred layer. We want to then go here, hit the plus, and then you want to fill your layer in black. We have our gradient layer at the bottom. We have our layer two, which is our layer fill, and then the layer mask on top of the fill. So that's how the stack goes. It goes layer mask, fill layer, gradient layer. Simple. All right, so now we notice that this is black and it won't show up as black once you write on here. So I'm gonna go with my brush And now I've created a gradient brush. It's, well, it's an illusion really, but <laughs> it's a brush to, it's just, you know, using those colors to kind of manipulate the eye of thinking that this brush is actually a gradient brush where all I'm doing is erasing a mask that's underneath. It's kind of like a stencil. So I'm just gonna write some script so you can see, you know, I'm terrible at calligraphy, but I'll try. I'm gonna write hello. <laughs> That's cool. And you don't have to keep these colors, right? You know, we can like turn this off 
let me show you a quick technique. So here you wanna to go to adjustments. You can go to hue and saturation. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Go to hue and saturations. And you can play with the intensity of these colors. You can play with the, you know, the overall hue. Like this here looks more like an aqua color, aqua pink color. And this side like a more of a bluish green. So you can play with the colors. You don't necessarily have to keep what you have. So let's pull it all the way over here. Now it's more of a blue tint. And now we have like a dark blue. See that? So I'm gonna explain what the layer mask does, like why this happens. So usually when you put a mask over something, it plays as like a filter or a stencil. That's a probably a better word, it's a stencil. And there's two colors, black and white, that can make something appear or disappear. In this sense, which was kind of strange because this seems to be in reverse in Procreate or is this maybe it's just me, but white is supposed to reveal and black is supposed to hide, right? So if I take the same brush and we notice that our color is white, of course, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna go go across and now the white is hiding and i've always thought it was the other way around that white reveals and black hides but um it might be a little different or maybe i'm out of the loop you know like i feel like you can just be as creative as you want with this you don't necessarily have to do you know lettering you know you can get your stencil brush somewhere i'm pretty sure there's plenty of stencil brushes out here on the internet. Um, let's see, let's do a quick brush. You know, could, see how you can utilize textures and stuff. That's also, you know, a technique that I found super interesting with this. So I do have a video that shows you how to make gradient brushes from scratch by using the brush settings, of course. Um, I'll put that video in the description if you want to check that out, or I'll put it on the top of the screen as well. So you can kind of take a look whenever you're ready. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, it pushes to the recommended. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I mean, of course, I wanna build a community of artists and teaching each other is my goal and I learn on the fly all the time. So it's good to build that community. So if you are a part of the community, thank you already. And if you're willing to sub, if you're not as of yet, um, we'll be more than happy to have you. Um, so yeah, thanks again and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.